Hello, my name is Claire Weiskopf. Uh, I'm a documentary director from Colombia, and we are presenting Alice in the Berlinale in Generation, and we're so happy to be with you. I am Nicolas van Hemmelrich from Colombia too. With Claire, we have the company Casa Tarantula, together with director and produced Alice, a film about the power of imagination, where we work with teenage girls that used to live in the streets of Bogota and now are in a boarding school, boarding school. And with their imagination, they create a character, a classmate, where all their suffering and dreams are projected and they take us through this amazing emotional journey. Thank you. Thank you. Pues, ¿quiere que le diga una cosa? Yo no me las creo que, que yo estoy aquí interna. ¿Por qué? No sé, no me las creo. O sea, pienso que todo esto es un sueño lo que me ha pasado. Sí. Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean Bourbobak, and this time we are discussing the film Alice. Hi, welcome to the Teddy Award. We are very happy to have you here. Um, let's start off with, uh, let's talk a bit about La Arcadia and uh, also how did you get involved um, with this institution? Um... Well, we were invited to uh, to give a um, documentary workshop at this place. Yeah. Uh, not exactly at this place that where the film is filmed, but there's other places like that that uh, okay. all over Bogota. So we were invited to to yeah to give this workshop at the beginning. They told us, okay, you're going to go and give a workshop to girls that have been living in the streets or have been uh, in difficult um, situations with their family and abandoned by their family. So at the beginning, we were very like we had this idea that they were like we we felt very sorry for them now, and we went there with a lot of like pity. And when we arrived, we, they really like um, changed totally this prejudice we had um, because there are so powerful girls. They're full of life and they're full of energy. And so, so everything changed because we had like this plan of doing this workshop this way. And they challenged us every day. So it was really mm -hmm. amazing. And from there on, we we thought, okay, so there's something here. We want to make a movie, but we didn't know really how to do it. Yeah. So we started um, getting like funds to go back and to give more workshops. That was in 2016, so a long time ago. Okay. And um, in one of those games we played with them, uh, we used to ask them to tell us stories and uh, invent stories. So in one of those games, uh, they started um, inventing stories. Their, their stories were amazing. Always they were born in, I don't know, Paris and their parents were blondes. But th very quickly they came to their own universe. So there we discovered um, a way to tell in this story. Um, because we, we think imagination says much more about us, uh, ourselves than our biographies. Yeah, th let's talk a bit about this element of imagination that was so central to this project. And maybe also um, a bit, how did you come up with this idea? Because it's, it's quite a simple concept at the end of the day that like organizes the film, but it's also a very powerful one. Well, uh, like Clea said, this exercise that we invited them to create a story, the results were so amazing for us. Uh, and 
in a such a simple way we could really get to know the girls uh, in ways that we wouldn't know, for example, through her their biographies. And equally important is that with imagination we also protect them because in this film you will never know what's true and what's not, what happened to them and what's uh, imagined or what happened uh, maybe to a, a relative or a friend. We never know these stories they tell, where do they really come from? We know they come from the universe, but we can't know if it's something true. We don't know what these girls are going to be in the future. Uh, they have been through very traumatic experience and through Alice, we can protect them and really uh, focus more on their feelings and their emotional journey than in the fact and in the exact things that happened to each of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so then the, let's say the, 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 the great idea was to uh, make one same character for all of them. Uh, so together with them, it was a process of construction and finding the, the name of the character. Mm -hmm. uh, a name that exists here, but that the probabilities that one of them would be called like this were very low. Uh, and finally, Alice was, was the chosen name. Uh, yeah, so, so that, that, that was it. It's good to explain that Alex, Alice is a fictional character. Right. Um, it is a um, classmate of the girls. So the only thing we tell them is, um, that that is a, a classmate and she's 15 years old that's the only input we give them and uh, they they create the story um in the interview like in the encounters we have with them we right. don't prepare them um uh, uh, we don't, didn't prepare that before it's very spontaneous yeah how difficult was it to kind of break the ice with them and because they were so natural, they were so honest and raw in front of the camera. And I imagine that that took some time till they felt comfortable enough um, to, to tell these invented stories. Well, the thing is, we have been going there since 2006. Uh, at, so 16. 16, sorry. So they knew about us. So when we arrived, it was good because they had like word, word of mouth. So uh -huh. they, oh, Casa Tarantula. <laughs> it's our, the name of our, our production company. Mm -hmm. So they're very excited to participate. So they opened quite easily. Um, there's some girls that we knew from, from back then. Uh, but most most of the girls that you're going to see in the film are new. So, and also um, the film is a little bit structured like what happens. And at the beginning, they don't believe a lot in the game. They, they, yeah. they want to play it, but they're not very sure. And uh, uh, slowly they get into it. Now they get into it at, 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 to a point that they forget about Alice and the first person appears. So it is a process. Um, uh, but we did have lots of confidence with them. Uh, like, I don't know if you say confidence. Confidence, yes. Yeah. Like, yeah they, yeah, they were very comfortable because they knew us. And we knew also, because we have been tr working with them, uh, how to approach them. No? Okay, yeah, I see. Female friendships and, and also, I mean, it's, they, they all live together. There is a bit of a, this homosocial element coming into play as well. Can you talk a bit about this aspect of the film? Oh, okay. um, well, they live in, um, in, in this boarding school and they're like a family, but they're in this, um, in this ages that are, they're discovering their sexuality. Right. So I think, in that age, everything happens there, and there's lots, of, like lots of relationships that happen between them, and they're not sure if they're 
um, gonna be like in love with women or men. They're exploring. It's, it's. I think it's a moment of exploration, and obviously because they are in in this place and they're all together. And they, it, it's weird because uh, what happened is when we went shoot before it was only only girls um, boarding school. Yeah. And just before we went shooting, like a week before, the institution decided that now there were going to be also boys. So for us, it was like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? Because we were working only with the girls. Yeah. And uh, so that changed everything also, mm. no? because now there was boys. So it, I don't think it, it's like, I think they're in an age of exploration. That's, okay. that's like, like my answer to, to that question. Yeah, absolutely. Um, at some point in the film, freedom became a very crucial topic, um, especially with regards to this institution. Um, can, you, can you elaborate a bit on, on this uh, topic that was so prominent in the film? Well, uh, adolescence is a very uh, tough moment, a very wonderful moment too. And it's a moment when you feel you are a grown up, but you are still not uh, free to do whatever you want. Right. These girls are very well protected in this place, but they can't go out, they can't party. Uh, it's a little bit similar to what happens to to every teenager at home that they want more freedom than what usually their parents uh, allow. Here, of course, it's much more tough and much more strict because at home you can, in a way, get away convincing your parents. Here, of course, uh, it's the same rules for everyone. So they live in this contradiction of knowing that here is the place where they are best protected and it's their best possibility, but they still want to go out, they want to party, they want to go uh, and meet friends, they want to, uh, yes, to, to be free. To be free, yeah. So, so it's a, a very hard uh, moment for them. Uh, fortunately, in this uh, in this place that we shoot it's very green because we had worked with them in other places that were much more uh, concrete much more mm -hmm. in the center of down, downtown in bogota much more uh, tough uh, in yeah. that sense but here they have space they have green they have nature so they really can uh, move their bodies more freely and we we found that at this institution in particular are in Larcadia, they were much more in a good mood than mm. in other institutions that were more in the city. Yeah. Uh, but of course, that's something that they are uh, pursuing. Uh, how, what is it to be free? And are they going to be allowed to be free? That basically being free, what they say, it's just being yourself, uh, having the chance of being yourself. And, and all also, I, I just wanted to add like the dance because the dance is right. very important um, in the in the film and for the girls. And the, the dance is a way of freedom uh, to move their bodies, to move their bodies in a rhythm that they want to move it. And it's very important, like it through throughout the film, the dance because it represents mm -hmm. this freedom. Yeah. What was your your kind of aesthetic approach to the film? Like a very big part of it is this talking head type of interviewing mm -hmm. documentary style, but you do expand at quite mm -hmm. many times on that. Um, can you explain a bit about this this particular approach that you took? Yes. Well, uh... For us, it was very important to make a device that allowed the girls to look at us in the eyes. Mm. Uh, this population, this kind of girls and boys in Bogota are people that nobody wants to look, that they are invisible. They, it's like they didn't exist. Mm. So we wanted the audience to watch them in the eye for, for an hour and a half to... to 
yeah. to keep their gaze, like to have them in the center of the Screen. of the frame and uh, looking at us, telling us their story. So that was a very important decision. Uh, but of course, we didn't want it just to stay there. We also needed to build the place. It's not uh, a very common place to understand, even here in Bogota. Uh, we don't even know these kind of places exist. So we also wanted to build the place in, in one hand, because the place also represents that loneliness, that emptiness of their abandonment. Uh, and the, the institution, of course, but also when they are sitting with us, they behave in a way, but when they are among themselves, among themselves it's different the way they behave. Right. And you, uh, we wanted to build through the film at the beginning, it's much more empty and lonely. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the film progresses, you start to see them together and you start mm -hmm. to understand that they are a family and that each other is the best thing they have and, and they uh, support themselves and they, it's very important for them to have the group and the others. So right. that's something we wanted to build uh, like on the um, parallel to the, to the story of Alex. Mm. And also uh, we, we don't call them interviews but encounters because lots of mm -hmm. things happen in those encounters it's not just talking well you're gonna see um Sorry, and the didn't... other thing i wanted to say is oh that we decided that we didn't want to um that the the teachers or anyone from the institution to be in the film mm -hmm. and that was like one of uh because we wanted to focus just on the girls yeah right i was actually also wondering how much agency did the girls have over the final product? So like in, in the editing, have they seen the final version of the film? What, how, did, how did they find it? Um, well, yeah. uh, we're, we're traveling tonight because tomorrow we're going to show the film for the, to the girls. Oh, so see. they haven't seen anything. Okay. Um, they're, they're, in the film, there's 20 girls and it was really strange for us also because we always thought no it's going to be uh, in the film there's going to be about eight to ten girls yeah. and when we edited it it ended up being 20 girls that's a lot of girls and uh, so we're so excited to show them the film obviously there's some mm. that already left the institution and are in other cities so it's very difficult to track them uh, yeah. some uh, with the main characters and well, lots of the girls are going to be there. So we're so, so excited. We're going to show it and we're going to like make a day with them and, and, and be, be with, be together. Yeah. yeah. And they're always like, I'm always in contact in Facebook. So they're mm. writing all the time, like really yeah. excited. Yeah. Great. That's <laughs> amazing. Um, as a last question, what would you say? What is your hope? Um, what can these girls take away from this whole process mm -hmm. and what is it that the audiences who will watch your film can take away from from this experience well we think that uh, uh, for the audience we we would like them to leave the same process we did that it's uh, at the beginning when you imagine these girls you feel probably pity and sadness, but mm -hmm. as you get to know them and find their strength, their humor, their power, you really get to admire them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the journey we live with them, and that's what we hope the audience can uh, live uh, with the film. And hopefully at the end of the film, the audience is going to want to support them in, in, in any way, because even though they have all that is required to make it in life. What they lack is opportunities. Uh, that's really the only difference. And we are uh, working on that uh, very hardly. Uh, parallel to the film, we're building a big impact campaign, very ambitious. We have a great partner here in Colombia called Tiempo de Juego, an NGO that works with this kind of population. We're mm -hmm. When they turn 18, they have to leave the boarding school and that's the most crucial and tragic moment because 
the institution stops uh, like following them and they really don't have many options so they it's very easy to go to the only places they they've known uh, that usually are not good places so we're building a house that it's a transition between the institution and life where they can get the support while right. while they uh, can organize uh, their lives so mm -hmm. We're working on that uh, campaign and we are very confident that it's going to work. Uh, it's already getting momentum and we really hope that this, that if the mm -hmm. film goes well, that's going also to benefit the, the yeah. impact campaign. And yeah, what wonderful. would the girls take out of it? <laughs> the girls, well, I think, um, I think to imagine is, very important like to imagine uh how your life is going to be and i we're not naive we know they have it tough it's not like a naive film that we think oh okay all the girls are going to be happily after uh, ever after and um, we're conscious of that but i think it will will empower them uh, it had it has empowered them like all this process we have done with the girls we we find it has been very enriched enrichness oh god that's word okay yeah. for them um because it's also um a way of seeing the world in a different uh, way as, as they used to see it so for them it's uh, it's very yeah they, they always uh, thank us for going and doing these workshops and I think the film is a way that they're gonna see, well let's see let's see what happens to the air tomorrow mm -hmm. but I think they're gonna see their projections and their dreams there and mainly uh, their dreams are really incredible dreams that I hope would come yeah. true yeah well first of all I wish you good luck and a lot of fun for tomorrow for screening the film yes. for the girls for the first time and i wish you a lot of success with this campaign and the project that you just mentioned i i really hope that it will all work out the way that you that you would want because it really sounds amazing and and a really great opportunity for for these young people so yeah thank you for this interview as well and i wish you all thank the best you. for the berlinale Thank you. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. And see you soon there. Yeah. <laughs>